Hello, I'm Arnold Custodio and welcome to another InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to use a header image in WordPress. Before we begin, I want to emphasize that working with a header image will depend on a theme that you use within WordPress. It makes a difference because of the surrounding graphics and the colors that may already exist within that theme. The theme we'll be using today is the WordPress 2015 theme, which comes with a default installation of WordPress. Why use a header image? In most cases, a header image is simply used to make your site more eye-catching. It may be used to convey a theme, emphasize the products you create, promote your cause, or even provide identity information like a company logo. No matter your intent, the image is there to capture a person's attention and keep them interested in your web page. In this case, I'm going to put a header image in a blog that talks about a festival in Virginia Beach that's called the Neptune Festival. So here I am in the dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and look at the customization for the header which you go to appearance, you can actually go to header or you can click on customize. Since we're talking about the header, I'm going to click on header and you can see the present header image for this particular blog which is using the WordPress 2015 theme. It can definitely use a little spicing up to make the site a little more eye-catching. So you can see a post here, and then in this case, within 2015, their header image actually sits in this blue space. To the left here, you can see that the image size that they recommend is 954 pixels by 1300 pixels. They also suggest that you can crop your images after you clicked Add New Image. Before you add your header image, there are a few things that you should consider. Your header image will always depend on the theme, as we've said. And as we said earlier, again, the theme will often have a recommended size for the image. Make sure that you click on Appearance and then look at either Customize or Header in order to see the theme specifications for the header. Decide on your image. Consider that the items that will be affected by the image that you're placing in that space. So in this case, when we look at the space where the header image is going to be, which is this blue space behind these items here, you need to consider how your image will appear so that they don't interfere with these items on that page. In some cases, there may also be rules for the display of a company logo that you want to use for your header image. Make sure to check on those rules before you use the image. Also remember that the image is being used for the web, so the image should be optimized for that purpose. This means the image should be something like 4,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels and have a file size of 30 megabytes. You want to optimize the image to look good at web resolution, which is 72 dpi, and keep the file size as small as possible. This helps to keep loading times down to a minimum. And finally, when you upload the image, make sure to review the image on the site in order to make sure that it appears the way you want it to appear. So here are the steps to upload a header image into your WordPress theme. First, make sure you're logged into your WordPress administrator. Click on Appearance, and you can click on Header to go straight to the header section. Click on Add New Image. And here you can upload files for your image that you're going to use, or if you already have it in there, you can already select the image. So in this case, I do have the image already within my library, and so I'm going to select it. And I'm going to click on Select and Crop at the bottom. And here is the Crop Image section. If you actually need to crop the image, you can drag the handles here to crop the area that you want to use for your image. You can also skip the cropping by clicking on Skip Cropping at the bottom. Or if you're satisfied with your image, you can click on Crop Image in order to proceed. And here you can see that the image has been placed. So you can review the image before you actually publish it. And you can see how it affects the items that are already within the particular header. If you're satisfied with an image, you can click on Save and Publish, and you're finished. 
Thanks for watching this InMotion Hosting WordPress video tutorial. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave us a comment on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? Something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.